We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. On today, Faithful Acolytes, we take a look at this. And what this is from Mikey D's, it is the Triple X Reaper Pickles. Now I have done the regular Re Reaper Pickles. You can check those out in the Everything Else playlist where this one will also live. And I thought they were really interesting. I, I would say check out that video because a lot of the same stuff applies to this. And you can see the we definitely have some some redness here to the liquid. My main complaint, I think, about the other ones was that I, I felt like they should have been hotter. Actually, more to the point, I think I was confused that they weren't hotter. So let's look at the ingredients. We have cucumbers, water, vinegar, salt, alum, calcium chloride, natural flavoring, uh, some preservatives. We have olea resin turmeric and some dyes. Why? I don't know. Uh, fresh habaneros, garlic, Carolina Reapers. So, uh, as you can see, I didn't waste any time getting into these. And you'll see why here momentarily. But, so here's the bit of oddness is that they're, they're cut into these sections and just kind of shoved in there. It's such an odd approach to that. In fact, here, let me fish one of these out for you. Okay, come here. So, th they're this sort of just really odd sort of shape here. And it's like they took these massive ones and just cut them into sections, which is good because in a way this is good because you have more surface area for the stuff to get into. Uh, we have a whole garlic here. What else? This is uh, probably a habanero. We'll have that. So I don't think there's actual like whole reapers in there or anything, but that's it. That's all there is in here. You can see there's nothing else in there but liquid. No, I'm not drinking this. That's uh a level of weirdness to which I hope to never ascend, descend, ascend. So these are a bit too big to just get in your mouth and I have a paper cut on my finger so I don't want to introduce vinegar and salt into it but let's get into the taste here. Salt, alum, classic pickle flavor. Very nicely punchy. These were kind of actually what I was hoping for with the other ones. Ooh. We'll eat the pepper and the garlic. Here next. Oh, garlic's so crunchy. Very, very decent uh, heat going here. About where I would want. It's it's past the one. Not quite to a two. Basically a good enough level to be satisfying. Hmm. This is what I wanted. Almost exactly from those other ones. Almost to a T.
No change to the formulation at all. Just hotter. I don't think we're gonna make it quite to a two. Uh, this is definitely between a one and a two though, for me anyway. And we'll see as this goes on, if we can get a little bit hotter. When I heard these were coming out, I was pretty excited. And I looked around for them. I happened to be down in one of Roger's uh, Burn Your Tongue locations. And I saw them on the shelf. And I thought about doing a little backflip, but I'm too old and fat for that. So instead I just bought them. Yeah, nice, nice heat. We're getting closer to a two now. Well, sort of. Maybe, uh, eh, uh, maybe not. All right, definitely a strong one. Very nice, very, very nice. All right, the reason why most of those aren't in there is because of this, potato salad. I tried a different arrangement this time. I don't know if it came through in the camera or not, but rather than mix eggs into it, I put them in rings on top, and uh, they look pretty in there, but I can't seem to pull it out like that, so, oh well. So I made this with the Ring of Fire Mustard. Check that out in the Spicy Mustards playlist from uh, M&D, Mike and Diane's. So I made this last night. It's been sitting overnight. Always a way to do with potato salad. Mm. Mm. Oh, so good. I just kind of chunked the pickles. I didn't. I didn't cut them up really into smaller pieces. Hmm. It gives it a really nice spark. Where you get a flash of heat. Oh, that's nice. In the salad. You know, because the potato salad can be a little bit plain. Potatoes, eggs, you know. So I like to make sure I throw a little bit of mustard in there. <clears throat> but either hot mustard or those hot pickles. Now I'm out of hot pickles. I also like to cut pepper rings in. Show you what I mean. Here's one of them. I like to just cut those in as well. Gives a little bit of color, gives it that crunch, gives it some lightness. Onions are pretty hard no go for me. I don't like celery. You have to use celery seed, of course, but celery itself, I don't. 
kind of a worthless vegetable. That's nice. I'm not sure if I like this better. I'm trying to refine my approach with the eggs and the potato salad. So I don't always love, they, they tend to get annihilated when you mix it up. Even if I try to be careful. So that ring is just sitting on top might work really well. To an extent it does, but I didn't play around with it this morning, I think. Not totally happy. Ain't nothing wrong with the salad though. This is tremendous. I feel like you always, you know, summertime, you need to make you got some potato salad in there somewhere. I don't make it every weekend, but I don't, I've had, I've had warm potato salad, I don't like that. It just seems to me like you know, like if you've had potato salad right after making it and you don't chill the potatoes or eggs enough, that to me is kind of what it's like. I'm not a fan. Outstanding. I'm really just splitting hairs at this point, though. Like, I'm probably the only one that's going to know how much this is improved. It might only be improved in my head. Just, just for me, which is fine. The day I think I make a perfect anything is a day I'll probably be bored and never try to make it again. I might be wrong on that, though. <laughs> You never can tell. So that actually, that potato salad is a strong one based solely on this. The Mike and Diane, the M&D Ring of Fire Mustard is not particularly hot, but these babies in there, I, I kept some of the juice, I threw that in there, and uh, yeah, that's uh, one of the hotter potato salads I've ever had, hands down, and it's a very, it's still a pretty steady one, which it is just so nice. That's that's what it is. It's nice. In summer, I feel like you don't. I don't do a lot of challenges and stuff like that in summer because I don't feel like you want to get overly blistering, you know. Because I I wind up sweating like crazy anyway because it's a million degrees. So the last thing I want to do is start just piling on heat. But I would like a nice. Pleasant level, and that's really what this delivered. So, uh, yeah, these are <laughs> he he made Mike. He made almost exactly what I was hoping for, like to a T. Very close to a T. I mean, I guess you can always improve stuff at one level or another, but but this is almost exactly what I wanted in uh with the other reaper pickles the triple x reaper pickles are just borderline perfection they just they they totally improved on the only one thing from the other pickles that i wanted them to and i can't say enough about how thrilled i am with that that's the mark of, of, a, of a really good creative mind when it comes to the culinary world when you know well enough to leave you know what to leave alone and he did in this regard he left the exact right thing by itself and what we have here is uh just just a fantastic fantastic product so 
Yeah, this is, uh, I, I'm exceptionally pleased with these. And if I do more potato salad this year, I don't know if I will at this point, but if I do, definitely we'll be back to the shelves to get another one of these. E even though, I mean, this is very expensive buying it like this. In my view, it is it is well, well worth the ticket price to take this ride. And we'll just leave it right there. So that was the Mikey V's Triple X Reaper Pickles. Now go forward. In peace. To serve the flame.